good morning students so yesterday we read about uh, microbes that help in a number of ways we discussed about three points the useful microbes they help in fixing nitrogen they convert some bacteria they convert the nitrogen from the atmosphere into some useful form and this is stored in soil and from the soil directly or indirectly plants and animals benefit from this nitrogen which is converted by the bacteria into some useful form then we also read that microbes help in making vaccines and medicines when we go to the doctor the doctor prescribes us antibiotics and by consuming that antibiotics we recover from our disease and then also we get vaccines when we were small we got vaccines when we were small to prevent uh, a few diseases like typhoid or polio so these uh, vaccines are also prepared by bacteria and fungi uh, in the uh, as you see in the recent period you can see a uh, vaccine is being prepared for coronavirus and uh, the time as soon as the vaccine for coronavirus is available we can be at least safe from this dangerous disease life taking dangerous disease then we also read about how plants help in digestion the fibrous food is uh, all of you know microbes are present inside our digestive system so these fibrous food the food that comes from plants cannot be directly digested by the human body so the microbes which are present in the digestive tract they help in breaking that those fibrous food into simpler form and then uh, the digestion is made possible by these with the help of these microbes then they also help these useful microbes they also don't let the harmful microbes grow inside our digestive tract and the third important point about the microbes who help in digestion that they also help in the production of certain vitamins which help us repair our body repair the damaged part to recover from diseases so all these things we read in the previous class today we will discuss about more three points we will read about how microbes help in baking how microbes help in making curd and cheese and how microbes help in making curd and cheese all of you please turn to page number 79 at first at first baking what is baking i love cake and you must be relishing a lot of dishes at your home prepared by your mummy isn't it you like idlis you like um, chole bhature but uh, how does your mother cook all these things you also relish uh, relish cakes isn't it so at first you must know what baking is baking is something which is um in which the food is cooked by using dry heat especially in ovens when you use microwave what is done baking is done in that with the help of the dry heat the food is cooked so in the process of baking there are microbes which help us yeast is a fungus you also read fungus is fungi fungi means a group of fungus so yeast is a fungus fungus is a microbe is a group is one of the five groups of uh, microbes so fungus yeast is a fungus and this yeast is used in making bread you may have observed when your mummy your your mummy uh, mixes uh, makes a dough the dough is small when it is mixed but after some time it double sap how how is it possible because of the yeast this when this fungus is added to the flour uh, with salt and um, other things what happens it reacts and then it doubles up it ferments when it ferments it doubles up so when it doubles up uh, out of that flour your mummy cooks the chole bhature and even uh, so many things are made using microwaves and even a number of dishes are prepared by your mummy when mixed with the flour yeast helps the bread to rise and makes it soft and fluffy 
so in the same way the idli batter is also made it is at first your mummy must be mixing uh, keeping uh, the these grains soaked in water overnight after that in the morning she must be mixing it in the mix mixy and then she must be leaving it for hours and hours to ferment in the process of ferment what happens this yeast is added up and then the mixture doubles you may have noticed the mixture being doubled and after the mixture gets doubled up the cooking is done so this is the process this is the way in which uh, the microbes the fungus helps in baking next point is the making curd and cheese have you ever observed your mummy how does mum, your mummy makes curd at your home how is cheese prepared it is also possible with the help of microbes a type of bacteria called lactobacillus the pronunciation of lactobacillus lactobacillus this is a bacteria and its work is to change the milk into curd that is why in a in lukewarm milk when a small amount of curd is added up in the morning you will see that or after some a few hours you will notice that the milk changes into curd why because of the presence of the lactobacillus bacteria this when this um, a, a few part of curd is mixed into the milk lukewarm milk what happens the amount of the number of uh, lactobacillus bacteria multiplies and so in the morning you find curd and cheese is also made in the same way from the same bacteria or some other similar bacteria then decomposition what do you understand by decomposition decomposition means to decompose decomposition means to do decompose means make, when the plants and animals they die they get mixed up into the soil and this process is called decomposition there are a number of microbes present in the soil when the animals or plants they die they fall into the soil and the microbes which are present in the soil they eat the, the dead plants and animals and when they eat those dead plants and animals the they turn into compost the soil turns into compost it becomes so rich in nutrients that it can be added to the plants for growth so some microbes feed on dead plants and animals to form compost so there are as i told you there are compost with there are microbes which are already present in the soil and when the dead plants and animals fall into the soil these small microbes they eat those dead plants and animals and when they eat those dead plants and animals they turn into compost mixed with the soil and so these microbes are called decomposers these microbes they help in decomposition that is why they are called decomposers and when this compost is mixed with the soil what happens that the soil becomes rich in nutrients and when this nutrients rich soil is added is used by the plants and the plants grow very well and we get uh, we get enough amount of products from agriculture so today we read about how microbes help in baking you read about the yeast which is a fungus which helps in the process of baking then we also read about how microbes help in making curd and cheese lactobacillus lactobacillus it is a bacteria which help in converting milk into cheese or curd then we also read how they help in how some of the microbes they help in decomposition how some of the microbes they help in decomposition they eat they feed on dead plants and animals which fall in the soil and then they turn it into the compost 
it turns into the compost and since these microbes they decompose the help in the decomposition of plants and animals so they are called decomposers and when they decompose the the um, dead plants and animals mixed with the soil turn into compost and when this compost is added to the soil the soil becomes rich in nutrients which help in the proper growth of plants so this was all about the useful microbes the useful microbes help in fixing nitrogen the useful microbes help in making medicines and vaccines there are useful microbes that help in digestion then they help in baking they help in making curd and cheese and they also help in decomposition please note down all the class work given and please write it very neatly in your notebook and uh, after finishing each answer please draw a line with a pencil do every work very neatly thank you and have a nice day